Hello everyone. If you want to keep track of many variables or quantities, then creating a tally button in Excel is the best option for you. It can be also used for tracking attendance, inventory management and collecting data. So this is Jihad Rianjim from Excel Demi and today we'll learn several steps on how to create a tally button in Excel. Before going into the steps, let's talk about the data set a bit. Here we have employee ID, his name, his age, and we want to find out amount, interest rate, years, periods, EMI, and total payable by using the tally button. For this tutorial, I'll be using Microsoft Excel 365. So without any further discussion, let's get started. For creating the tally button, we need the help of developer tab. So we'll go for the file tab and select options to open Excel options. Go for customize ribbon and in the customize ribbon main tabs, you will tick on developer and click OK to add developer tab here. Select developer tab. In the controls, go for insert and select spin button. Go for the area where you want to get your spin button. After creating it, right click on the button, select format control and here you have got the format control dialog box. Here you have current value, minimum value, maximum value, incremental change and cell link. You can fulfill them according to your need. In this case, we want current value as 1000, minimum value as 1000, 30,000 maximum value and incremental change will be 1000. As seal link will go for the C7 as the spin button is here and then press OK to get the amount here. Go for the spin button and see whether it is working or not. You can easily see that it's changing according to our wish. You can also increase or decrease them by using the upward and downward button. In a similar way as a spin button, you can also insert a scroll bar in the interest rate option. You'll go for the developer tab again in the controls, go for the insert and select the scroll bar section. Again, go for the area where you want to get the scroll bar and right click on it. Go for format control to open the format control dialog box. Go for the controls and here you have got current value minima, maximum, incremental change, cell link. You can fulfill them where 0 as current value, minimum value 0, the maximum value will be 200 and next as incremental change will go for the 5 and as page change we have got 10 and now cell link will be D8. After clicking OK we have got the result. Now as we are trying to get the interest rate in the percentage form, so we'll go for the C8 cell and select D8 and divide it with 1000 to get the rate here. Click the enter button to get the perfect result. Now see whether it is working or not. Let's scroll the scroll bar from left to right and yes, it's changing. You can also go for the left and right word arrow to see whether it's changing perfectly or not as the incremental value was 5 so it is changing 0.5% here. For fulfilling the years we need the help of the spin button again so we'll go for the developer tab in the controls go for insert and select the spin button. Go for the area where you need to get the spin button right click on them and go for format control to open format control dialog box Go for the control and here as current value you'll go for 6, minimum value as 1, maximum value as 100, here incremental change will be 1 year and the cell link will be C9. Click OK to get the result here. As it is not showing perfectly, let's change the row height a little bit. Now you can see the change here. You can also increase or edit the spin button here. Then you have got the result. Let's see whether the spin button is working or not. If you click on the downward, then it will be decreasing years. And if you click on the upward arrow, then it will increase the years. So the spin button is working perfectly. Let's go for the periods in the C10 cell. 
as we are trying to get the value in the month form. So we'll select the C9 years, but as we have 12 months in one year, so we'll multiply 12 with it. Click the enter button to get the periods here. After that, we'll go for equated monthly installment, which is also known as EMI. We can get it by using the PMT function. The PMT function means payment, which calculates the payment for a loan based on constant payments and a constant interest rate. Now, in this section, we have got the rate at first, but we'll select the rate in the C8 cell. Here it is in the yearly section, but we need to get it in the month form, so I'll divide it 12 with it. Next, we have NPER, which is in the C10 cell. After that, as present value, we have the current value in the C7 cell, and as future value will be 1, so I'll select 1, and next we have got the beginning of the period, so I'll go for it, and press the enter button to get the EMI here. To get the total payable, we need to multiply the C11 EMI with the C10 periods. If you click the enter button, then we have got the perfect total payable here. So let's change the values in the spin button and scroll bar to see whether the whole data table is working correctly or not. So let's go for the present amount in the C7 and go for the spin button. Yes, it's changing perfectly. And let's go for the interest rate and you'll see it is changing also. And in the years, if you change it, uh, and it will work perfectly. So we have seen that if we are changing the amounts, interest rate or years, then it is changing the whole table. So that's how we can easily create tally button in Excel. So that's it for today. You can follow these methods accordingly or you can download the practice workbook from the link below. Hope this will help you. If you have any questions, suggestions or feedback, please let us know in the comment section. Or you can have a glance at excelnemy.com. Thanks for watching our video. If you like this video, please consider subscribing for more content like this.